This fresh meal for people who are homeless in Houston is a lifeline that comes with a symbolic $40,000 price tag. The nonprofit dishing up the meals is currently in a standoff with the city because it's offering its services at the Central Library. The group, called Food Not Bombs, needs permission to feed more than five people there. Permission they don't have. So the fines have been racking up since March. We are facing 20 times 2,000, so $40,000 so far worth of fines uh, for just the last couple weeks. Um, so it keeps going up all the time. I have no problems with people feeding the homeless. The city ordinance has been around since 2012. So why enforce it now? Mayor Sylvester Turner says the atmosphere around the library is becoming unwelcoming to other users. And so we are losing a critical asset. Uh, for families, for children, for others who need to utilize the library. The mayor says the city offers up meals for the homeless at a nearby police station parking lot and that food, not bombs, should shift over there. But people who are homeless, like Billy Joe Garcia, say the library spot is about more than just food. Having a place like here to go to, uh, whether if it's hygiene, whether if it's food, is, uh, is, is crucial because uh, uh, you, uh, you get to see new people and you get to have a decent uh, way of living. Volunteer Cherie Dor, who has received more than a third of Food Not Bombs' tickets so far, adds the alternative site comes with strings attached. And you got a lot of homeless that are scared of police officers, other groups that have moved to the other location. Uh, police have taken over and created their own system of rules. And that's not something that we're so keen on. We come out here, we serve, we go, and, and we do it with dignity. In the end, the standoff could be heading to court. A group volunteer has filed a federal lawsuit against the city challenging the constitutionality of the food ordinance. So as a consensus, we just we decided to come together here, take our stand, and, and at the end of the day, what we want to do is just get this silly food ordinance reversed. And the plan is to continue to serve our, our friends out here.